Yo guys, what's going on? It's Psycho Sibs Gaming back with some Battle for Neighborville farming guides. So today we're gonna cover an unlimited and AFK coin farming. Essentially strategy slash glitch. It's utilizing the 80s action hero flying glitch, alright? So the 80s action hero flying glitch is something that has been out for almost two months now, which is kind of crazy to believe. I did not cover it. Um, I don't cover glitches for the sake of being glitches anymore, but because you can actually convert this into a farming strategy, um, and it's been out for two months, I figured, why not? We'll, uh, go ahead and talk about it a little bit. Um, so essentially, yeah, this glitch just kind of allows you to float in the air with 80s Action Hero, and obviously we're gonna be utilizing this to cheese the dance hall of obedience and just sit and float above the tiles. So it's important to do this correctly, and you have to get enough height so you're above the death barrier of the tiles, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the perfect spot to do the jump um, so you can float because while you're floating in the air you actually can't go up or down you, you stay in one spot uh, and you move pretty slow too so um, that's basically what this amounts to but before we do start I'm gonna go give a quick shout out to it's your boy Jones 69 on YouTube um, from what I can gather he was the first person to figure out this glitch um, he's only got 33 subs so go ahead and drop a sub um, help that guy out and thank him for this wonderful glitch that he accidentally found in the game. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Um, I mean, you can go ahead and find this tutorial on YouTube. It's all over the place. But basically, all you need to do is sprint, jump, and then at the peak of your jump, you're going to press the rocket ride and immediately dynamite dodge. So sprint, jump, press. And if you're on Xbox, press Y, then press left back immediately. So sprint, jump, rocket ride, dynamite dodge, and it'll put you in this glitched out floating animation. And from there, uh, you can see we are actually at the perfect height to just slide right underneath the arch of the dance hall. And now we are the maximum height above those floor tiles. Um, I'll show you another spot you can jump off in a, in a minute here, but that's really all there is to this. So I do say that this is an AFK strategy. And it is about as AFK as you can get with Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville because the game will kick you out after around 5 minutes if you don't move your character. So um, you will have to kind of jiggle the remote, move them around a little bit. Um, you know. So what I would recommend is go ahead, plop your homework down, chuck this on the screen, put, place your controller down, and then move it every, like, I don't know, couple minutes um, just to ensure that you don't get booted. As far as how much uh, coins you actually earn, so you earn 50 coins for every single one of these like stages you complete. So every time essentially the tiles flash on the screen, you get 50 coins. This happens approximately every three seconds, which means you're going to be earning 1,000 coins per minute or 60,000 coins per hour. So it's not a broken strategy. Um, you can earn around the same amount of coins in multiplayer. And my best coin farming strategy is over 250,000 coins per hour. So this is nowhere near if you're trying to go for efficiency. This is just... If you, you know, have to do other things and you want an AFK strategy, you know, quote unquote AFK, this is the one you're going to want to gravitate towards too. Um, and in order to exit the, the dance hall, you actually just want to respawn because you can't use abilities. And there you can see, go ahead, I just respawned as 80s and it gave me my 1,150 coins for going um, and surviving a number of rounds. Another spot you can jump off. Uh, closer to the dance halls you can jump off that little ledge in the corner the like the little crates um and this will actually work this one's a little trickier because you are closer to the dance floor so sometimes when you try and do this you'll actually be too low and you'll get caught in the death barrier i would recommend jumping off the stairs over by uh the character upgrade station but you know whatever you think is best whatever you find easiest go ahead and do that so all in all, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video today. Uh, what I do want to say, again, this is obviously a glitch. Um, I have some pretty strong opinions about, you know, glitches and whether or not to cover glitches and stuff like that. Now, this one in particular, obviously you can do this in multiplayer. I don't know why you would want to. Um, you can't, like I said, you can't go up or down. It's not like you can control it and fly high or anything like that. That's, that's not possible. Um, so it's going to be pretty useless for the most part. Um, in a multiplayer game, you sh I mean, it, you can't move fast. You're pretty much stuck in the air, so you, you're going to get killed very easily. Um, people do use this in Giddy Park because they fly up 
in the air and then they snipe people from above like again that's pretty trash but also in battle for neighborville almost every single character has a long range attack you're going to be a sitting duck you're going to get killed in no time so i would yeah i would recommend not using this in multiplayer simply because it's i mean well it's first of all it's an exploit but also it's just stupid like you're not going to benefit you're not going to get extra kills or anything um with that being said i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I've got a few more farming guides to come. I know a lot of you guys don't need coins anymore, but I didn't have an AFK coin strategy, so I figured I'd go ahead and, and throw this one out there. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Game on, gamers.